Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a love reading on G Dragon. Okay, his name is Kwon Ji Young. Okay, he's um, the K pop group uh, Big Bang. He was born August 18th, 1988, which makes him 32 years old. So we're going to find out what's the status of his love life right now. Okay, because we're um, resonating in the energy of love this month. Okay, it doesn't have to be for February. Okay, we can do love at any time. So we're gonna do love reading on Mr. Jiyong. Okay, Kwon Jiyong. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, Divine Angels, could you please give me the best cards from this deck to describe G Dragon or Kwon? I'm gonna call him Kwon because I like that name. Kwon's um, love life. Okay, for 2021. G-Dragon. Attraction, okay? It says, um, you attract ro romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? Okay, let's see. Let's pull another card here for Kwan. Okay, we have playfulness here. It says, um, for the playfulness card, it says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, spirit of fun to shine. So he needs to allow, he's in the process of attracting love in his life, okay? Okay, it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? What moment? By being playful. He needs to be more playful, have more fun, because he looks so serious on his, on his pictures when I pull him up. Okay, so he needs to recapture romance. It says to recapture romance in his life, he needs to allow the inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, okay? And then we also have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Nice. Okay. So those are the three love cards we have here for Quan. Let's see, can we get some clarification on each card? Okay, let's see which cards should we go to. We'll pull here. Okay. Okay, Divine Angels. Okay, why is the attraction card here for Quan and Quan's reading? Why is the attraction card here for Quan, aka G Dragon? So it speaks of new beginnings, okay? It says the fairy godmother heralds the joy, joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nourish your ideas as you would a baby, okay? So he's doing some attraction, attracting in his life. He's trying to attract romantic love into his life, you know, and he wants a new beginning, okay? So uh, the fairy godmother... Um, it says to protect um, and nourish your ideas as you would a baby. You know, you know the care we put into protecting a baby. Okay, he needs to also do the same when it comes to his romantic life or, or romantic love. Okay, because right now he's in the process of attracting okay the love that he wants in his life. Okay, and he wants new beginnings. Okay. All right, so let's um, pull on this playfulness card. What can you tell us about this playfulness card, Divine Angels, for Kwan's reading? All right, hidden depths, okay? It says, something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. Okay, so this playfulness card speaks of to allow uh, his inner youth to, of spirit of fun to shine, okay, because he may not be doing a lot of playfulness or having a lot of fun in his life, especially at 32, you know, you kind of get a little older, but you still, even at that age, you still need to um, have fun, okay, and be playful, at, you know, like a child would, but not too childish, but 
have fun, okay? Because he needs to show some depth to him, you know, because he has some hidden depth that he's not showing, okay? Because it says that something is hidden and it's about to come to light, perhaps a secret or a memory in the back of his mind. It says when we're supposed what's hidden, we become free. Okay. I'm going to get some clarification on that card. So let's find out about the last card here, getting to know each other. What can we find out about the getting to know each other for Quan Freedom? Okay, G Dragon, Divine Angels. Getting to know each other. Okay. It says, ask for help. Okay. It says, angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say, now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Okay, so getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bonds deepen. Okay, so because he's he has some hidden depths that he's not showing, and he's probably not able to show those. He's probably had those so hidden deep down that he's probably not even able to access those those feelings. So that's why um, spirit is saying, ask for help. Okay, turn to your angels to ask you to ask for help to be able to um, dig deep within so that you can be able to show your inner self. Okay, and show that you do have depth to you. Okay, okay, sometimes the help that you need is within you, and if you can't, um, you don't have access to it, which you do have access to, you just don't know how to access it, then you just have to ask for help from your, um, your angels. Because that's what they're here for. They're here to help you. But you, because you have free will, you have to ask for it. Okay? Because uh, can't, they can't just intervene, intervene in your life without your permission. Okay? You ask for help and help will come to you. Okay. So, let's break down these cards a little bit here. Okay. Let's find out more about this attraction card. What can we find out about this attraction card here for Quan's reading? Divine Angels. What can we find out about this attraction card here in Quan G. Young's reading, aka G. Dragon? Okay. Criticism. Okay. Okay, so attraction is that you attract the romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so. Because he has some depths that he's not um, being able to tap into, it probably came from a lot of criticism that came in his life, okay? A lot of people with opinions, okay, um, that um, criticized him, okay? And that's why he now needs to attract positivity in his life, okay? He needs to put um, the criticism that people gave him or tried to uh, criticize him with uh, to put him down. He needs to disregard those, okay? Any criticism, Okay, anybody that's being opinionated about his life, okay, he needs to put that to a side so that he can attract true romantic love into his life, okay. And he's probably not able to enjoy any moment fully because of criticism, okay, because he's in a public eye. You know, he probably have people always pointing their fingers at him, you know, saying things, giving their opinion, okay, telling him what he can and can't do or what he should and shouldn't do. Okay. And it's hard to attract what's true to you and authentic to you when you try, you, I mean, who wants to be criticized? Okay. Let's see if we can pull some more. Why is this criticism card here? Okay. What can you tell us about this criticism card here? And Florence reading for my angel. Why is this criticism card here? What can you tell us about this criticism card? This criticism card here. I mean, I think I want to pull from this deck. Okay, let's see. What type of criticism is he receiving? Okay. Okay, what can you tell us about this criticism card here? Divine Angels for Quantum's reading. Okay, riches. Okay, we have the riches card here.
Okay, is he receiving criticism when it comes to his career? Okay, and he wants to keep, and you know, you want to keep your money going. Okay. Let's see if we pull something else here. Criticism. And, you know, a lot of things um, about his attraction. They say your romantic love is um, by enjoying the moment fully. Okay, he probably can't enjoy the moment fully because of criticism. Okay, because he's always out trying to make money. He's always trying to, you know, thinking about the next venture to make money. Okay, so it's hard to enjoy a moment fully. Okay, you know, because, you know, you don't want to get criticized and it affect your business in any kind of way. Okay. Okay, what can you tell us about this criticism card? Anything else you can tell us from this deck concerning the criticism card? Okay. Generosity. Yeah. It seems like he's always, okay, because with the generosity card, this person is giving to the community, handing out, giving to the community, okay? So it's like he's always giving to a situation and probably giving to people and not giving enough to itself. Okay. You know, and he's re receiving criticism, maybe from the from the you know from the public, from the people he's you know not the pe actual people. Well, maybe the people he's given to. Okay, because if he's given to his fans, okay, yeah, people are just taking, taking, taking. Okay. And he's giving, you know, his riches. He's probably giving money, do donating to charity. Okay. But then at the same time, receiving criticism. Okay, because this criticism card could also be um, action-oriented. Okay, so he's probably attracting, at this point, he is attracting um, love into his life because he is probably... When it comes to action orient orientated, he's giving. He's giving a lot to the charity. Okay. Yeah, he's giving his money to charity. Okay. And that's going to help him attract uh, positive love into his life. Okay. Because a, a person that's generous, gener generous with their money, generous in, you know, helping charity, giving to charity, giving back to people. Okay. That's a positive thing. Okay. And, he, and I think that he's going to receive because uh, this criticism card can also be action oriented okay it's like so what i'm saying instead of getting criticism he is um he's putting action forward to when it comes to attraction okay so his action is he's giving his riches his money to charity okay to attract the right type of love into his life okay so that's good that's what i'm picking up right now Okay, so let's move to the next card. New beginnings. Okay, what can we find out about this new beginnings card here for G Dragon? Okay, why well, is the new beginning card here for Quan? Okay, new beginnings, the favorite of my parents, the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Okay, so it's like he's giving birth to new ideas in his life or maybe a new baby. But um, but right now it's saying that there's some indifference when it comes, on, comes from maybe his company and himself. Okay. And, and it's like he's trying to protect his ideas. Okay, so G-Dragon, even his love thing, you know, love reading, is still talking about, you know, indifference when it comes, either for, for a new baby or his ideas when it comes to his career. Okay, when it comes to attracting, he's in, attracting um, positivity in his life, but there's someone that's indifferent to what he's um, trying to do, almost like standing in his way. Can you tell us about this indifference card? Why is this indifference card here for Quan? Quan's reading. Why is this indifference card here for Quan's reading? Okay. 
discovery. Yeah, he's following his heart, okay, when it comes to um, his this new beginning in his life, okay. And that's maybe people telling him, no, no, you can't do this, you know. And But, you know, he's following his heart. He's cherishing it, cherish, cherishing his new beginning, you know, because this is something he discovered. He's using his heart, okay, chakras, when moving forward, okay. And it's like he still have people in his life, okay, whether it's a company or, you know, or cause this person right here looks like, look like a boss. Okay, that's indifferent to what he's doing. Okay, because he's following his heart moving forward. Okay, because he wants a new beginning. He wants to try something new. Okay. Playfulness. Let's find out more about this playfulness card here. Why is this playfulness card here? For G Dragons reading. Okay, let me tell you about this playfulness card here. Okay. Yeah, it's partnership. Okay, so it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youth spirit to shine. Okay, when it comes to your partnership, okay, it's you know he's he he wants to join in on a partnership with someone, you know, and he and he feels like you know this person may be bringing out a playful side of him. Okay, allow him to laugh more, have fun more. Okay, and. That pro that's probably why people are having indifference here to his new beginning. Because this is something new they've probably never seen with him, okay? Yeah, he's being more playful and having more fun and enjoying himself. And he's, uh, like, working from his heart chakra. That's why he's up here giving to charity, okay? He's giving his riches to charity, donating, okay? Um, giving to pe people in the community, okay? And people may be even criticizing him doing that because they're like, okay, hold up, you're doing too much. Okay, what are you doing? You shouldn't be doing all of this and all of that. And he's and he's saying, you know, regardless, he's moved, um, he's cherishing what he's doing. Okay, he's standing up for what he's doing. Okay, because he's using his heart when moving forward when it comes to this partnership and anything he's he's doing in his life right now. Okay, so we got some hidden depths here. Why is this hidden depth card here for Quan's reading? Divine angels. Okay. Enthusi enthusiasm. Okay, he's very excited about this too. Okay, he's okay because he's using his heart. Okay, he's he's reaching within. He, you know, he's probably having deep conversation with his new partner. Okay, he's being very playful. He's smiling a lot, laughing a lot. Okay, and 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 it's making him happy. Okay, and he's very enthusiastic about moving forward. Okay, he see himself a bright future. Okay, this person is on the hot lighting bulb, moving forward, happy, excited. Okay, good for him. Okay, let's find out more about getting to know each other. What can we find out about getting to know each other from this deck? Oh, insomnia. Okay, probably up all night thinking about this person. Okay, it says as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, and it may even uh, give him sleepless nights, okay, when it comes to um, getting to know each other and sharing himself, you know, in depth with someone, okay, because sometimes being vulnerable is not always easy, okay, but it's definitely needed if you want to build a strong bond with each other, okay, so he may even be having some sleepless nights always thinking about Okay, what if I share this? Okay, will she still like me? Okay, will, will this person still love me if they find out that I'm this way? Okay. But that's part of getting to know each other. Okay. And being vulnerable is very important to, to building a very strong bond with each other. Okay. Let's see. Ask for help. Why is the ask for help card here? What can you tell us about ask for help with Quan's reading? Okay, yeah. You need to find balance. Okay. You need to find balance when it comes to that, okay? You know, cause he can ask for help so that he's not always showing um, the part of him that he thinks someone likes, okay? The, you know, because if someone really likes you, they're going to like the true you, okay? All depths of you, okay? So, he needs to learn how to have a balance when it comes to that and an and, and ability to ask for help, Okay? From not just people in your circle, but also ask your um, angels for help. Okay. So, let's see. 
What cards can we pull from? Let's pull from this card right here. Okay. Well, can you tell us about this partnership? Okay. With G Dragon. Okay. What more can we learn about this partnership here in Corinth reading to Divine Angels? Okay, the main male, okay, main male is always the person, the subject that we're speaking of, okay, which is G-Dragon, okay, Quan, okay, so he has a partnership here. Anything else you can tell us about this partnership here for the main male? Anything else you can tell us about this partnership here? Anything you can tell us about this main male? Anything else you can tell us about this main male? Okay, let's pull from this deck here. Okay, what can you tell us about this partnership here and Quan's reading from this deck? Okay, anything you can tell us about this partnership here and Quan's reading? Okay. Divine Angels, what can you tell us about this partnership here in Quan's reading? Okay. What can you tell us about this partnership in Quan's reading, Divine Angels? Okay. What can you tell us about this partnership here? We have a fair male here. Okay, still speaking of a male here. So this partnership, okay, because so partnership can be a relationship, but it also shows be someone that he's working with. But we're gonna get some more clarification here. What can you tell us about this fair male here? Why is this fair, fair male here? About this fair male, why is this fair male here? Okay, because a fair male is a male that's maybe light with light complexion, light color hair. Okay, fair. Okay, because the partnership came out with the main male and the fair male here. Okay, what well, can you tell us about this fair male here in Quan's reading? Okay, okay. Mature woman. Okay. Now this mature woman speaks of a lover. Okay. Or a mature woman. Um, could be a mother, grandmother. Okay. What can you tell us about this mature woman here? Why is this mature woman here? Or older woman. Can you tell us about this fair male? Why is this fair male here? Sudden riches, sudden wealth. Okay. Partnership with a fair male, mature woman, which is gonna cause sudden wealth. So this is speaking maybe of a job opportunity. And that's what it's starting to look like to me. Okay. That's going to bring in uh, sudden wealth for um, Quan. Because when the partnership come in, we have a main male, a fair male, a mature woman, and then sudden wealth on the partnership. Okay, let's see. What can you tell us about this mature woman with this deck? 
Okay. What well, can you tell us about this mature woman here with this set? Past life. Okay, the mature woman, someone from his past. Okay. Okay, anything else you can talk about this mature woman? Okay, there's obstacles here when it comes to this mature woman. Someone from his past. Okay, which is there's some there were some problems, some issues when it came to came to this relationship with this mature woman. Okay, because the mature woman is the lover of the main male or, okay, someone like a, uh, a, a mature woman that supports him. Maybe a family member or something like that that supports him. Let's see. Let's pull from this deck here. I need to find out who these people are up on a partnership. Okay, who is this mature woman? What can you tell us about this mature woman with this deck? What can you tell us about this mature woman here? And Quan's reading is on angels. Okay. It says, pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you when it comes to this mature woman. Okay. There's some red flags. Okay. They're coming up with this mature woman. Okay. Someone from his past. Okay. Where there were issues and obstacles. Okay, and he needs to pay attention to the red flags when it comes to her coming back into his life right now. Okay, because on the partnership, we also have the main male. What can you tell us about this um, fair male with this deck? What can you tell us about this fair male from this deck? Okay, it says love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. Okay, love yourself first when it comes to the fair male. Okay, what well, can you tell us about this main male? Okay, so I'm starting to think the fair male and the main male are the same people. Are they referring to G Dragon? Because it says love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantic, romantically attraction, attractive. Okay, what well, can you tell us about this main male here with his dead? Okay. It speaks of codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So he's being codependent when it comes to... Mm, there are some addictions when it comes to his romantic life. Wow. Let's see, let's see, what can we pull here? Let's pull from this deck. No, you know what? I need to pull straight from the tarot deck. Okay, I need some answers when it comes to this partnership. Okay, what well, can you tell us about this partnership here? Let's start back off with the partnership. Let's find out if this is a relationship. Because we are asking about romantic and love. This is a love reading. Okay. Okay, so what well, can you tell us about this partnership here for Quan G Dragon reading? Okay. King of Swords. Okay. King of Swords. Okay, the king, of course, is a... Um, Let's see, the King of Swords is someone that, like, you know, cuts through the crap. Okay, he has mental clarity, okay. Um, power lies in his mind, not more, not much in his emotions, okay. He's intellectual strength, gives the King of Swords the edge of ruling with dignity and authority. His judgment is sound based on objectives, objectively to find the honest truth, okay. He's looking for the honest truth when it comes to this partnership, he wants honest truth, okay, with the King of Swords. Okay, so what can you tell us about this? Okay, this fair male here. Why is this fair, fair male card here? 
on the partnership. What can you tell us about this friend now? Okay. The hermit. Okay. So he's doing some self-reflecting. Okay. It's like he's turning away from um, social media. Okay. Spending time with himself. Doing some soul searching. Okay. He's trying to get clarity when it comes to his partnership and moving forward with his romantic life. Okay. So he's in hermit mode. Okay, doing some self-reflecting when it comes to this square male. He's trying to be fair in the situation. Okay, what can you tell us about this main male here? Why is this main male card here? What can you tell us about this main male? Okay, he does speak about loving yourself first. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, making an offer. Okay. Okay, maybe make an offer to itself. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, it's like abundance. Okay, so he's receiving abundance because the sudden wealth card is here is about loving yourself first. Okay, because there are red flags when it comes to this lover card. Okay, with this mature woman. There's obstacles. There's red flags that he needs to pay attention to. Okay, Okay, but when it comes to him, you know, he's very abundant. Okay, abundant. But there is some codependency here. Okay, he may be depending on somebody, some obsession, some addiction. When it comes to um, this mature woman. Okay, but it says love yourself first. Okay. You know, and he wants, you know, he's trying to get out of his emotion and use his intellect when it comes to this partnership. Here in this reading. Okay, let's pull. Let's see. Can we pull? Let's pull here. Okay. What can you tell us about? Uh, what can you give advice? Can you give G Dragon concerning this situation? Okay, see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous way the divine can use anything and anyone. Okay, surrender. Sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe. Letting go. Okay, everything is indeed out of your control. Okay, God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Okay, he needs to surrender when it comes to love. Okay, and and. and Go into hermit mode, okay? So, Because he has some, a lot of things that he needs to get through and get past, okay? For true love to come into his life. Because there's a red flag that's still showing up obstacles, okay? And, um, yeah, and he needs to ask his divine for help when it comes to love, okay? Because that's a lot, it's a lot going on in here. That, that it shows that he's doing work right now. So, that concludes the reading.